Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Ich begrüße Sie aus dem virtuellen Studio der Fachhochschule Düsseldorf. Ich darf Ihnen heute zwei Gäste aus Japan vorstellen, konkret Aizu Wakamatsu. Als erstes wird Professor Michael Cohen vom Computer Arts Lab der Universität von Aizu eine Präsentation geben. Danach werde ich Herrn Jun Yamadera von der Firma Ice Japan interviewen. Und jetzt begrüße ich Michael Cohen. Hi Michael. Guten Tag. Nice to have you here. I'm pleased to be here. Um, you're here for the Japanese week at the Düsseldorf University of Applied Sciences. Um, first, I would like to have a small introduction from you. Uh, what is your main research topic? My research group in the Computer Arts Lab at the University of Aizu is doing spatial media. And what is the relation of this model behind you? I mean. So uh, part of spatial media includes 3D modeling, CAD, computer-aided design. So using Mathematica, we were able to make this model of a uh, backplane, such as might be used by a multiprocessing system that uh, exploits connectivity of adjacent nodes. Using uh, Mathematica's export facility, we could take that model and using the digital contents creation path, export it into a format compatible with your virtual studio. Oh, that's great. So we could get your model into our space. It's Thank pleased you. to see, for me to see it here. So Michael, can you please explain us your research topic? I describe applications of consideration of multiple perspectives simultaneously, including those of scale. For instance, in the famous picture, The Great Wave by Hokusai, one can see that the feature of the wave, the overarching crest, is echoed at smaller levels of granularity. That is to say, the macroscopic pattern is reflected in the microscopic patterns. Such characteristic is uh, symptomatic of a fractal, of a fractal dimension object. Thank you. Uh, Michael, can you explain that a little bit more in detail? Besides the idea of multiple granularities of scale existing, for instance, in the great wave picture, multiple perspectives also manifests and the idea of uh, multiple subjective experiences. For instance, in the movie, Rashomon by the late great director Akira Kurosawa, each of the characters has their own vignette that recreates their own subjective experience of uh, a single crime that was committed. So the idea is that there is no ultimate reality that each of us has within us a personal subjective experience that somehow uh, collects into a, a, a global or a collective experience. And how does it relate to um yeah, virtual environments. Well, for instance, uh, in a virtual environment, an avatar, a representative of a human user, need not be a singleton, need not be a, a single instance. For instance, uh, when you, one talks on the phone, one has a presence both in the real room in which one is talking as well as on the other end of the line. In the same way, a uh, suitably uh, equipped multiple presence virtual environment can also deploy multiple avatars for a single human user. In this way, one could uh, instantiate one of one's uh, representatives in, for instance, a chat space for one's family. And by copying and pasting that avatar, that iconic representation, into another space, for instance, one corresponding to school or work, one could have a multiple simultaneous presence. OK. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, Michael, what does it mean regarding mixed reality and virtual environments? Of course, the idea of multipresence in virtual environments is a very modern one. In things like Second Life, uh, one can't ordinarily clone one's presence. However, the idea of multiple presence is not new. For instance, in a mandala, a Buddhist psychocosmogram, a map of where the Buddha sits in spiritual space, each of the Buddhas is not, not a singleton. A Buddha sitting in one chamber might have another instance, a clone, a doppelganger, in another chamber. In that sense, the spirit of God, the Buddha, can be anywhere and everywhere. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you here in Düsseldorf. Vielen Dank. Bye-bye. Now I welcome Mr. Jun Yamadera from ICE Japan. Welcome, Jun. It's a pleasure to have you here in Düsseldorf. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your company, ICE Japan? Uh, yes, uh, we are 16 years old uh, IT oriented company, uh, including uh, German internship students from FHD even. 
and then uh, we are something like a study uh, staffs uh, which is uh, working on a cutting edge kind of project like uh, medical and uh, some IT kind of stuff. Um, medical projects you're saying, um, I guess you will present that at our yes. workshop on mixed reality and virtual environments. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your presentation there? Yes, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Health 2.0. Uh, I have uh, two topics, and uh, one is uh, uh, Health 2.0, which is a kind of a new concept of the uh, new healthcare uh, using uh, Web 2.0 concept. And then second, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, IT enforced uh, medical using uh, motion capture or computer visions or augmented reality. That sounds interesting. and. Um yeah, up to date. Thank you. What is so new about Healthcare 2.0? Um, healthcare 2.0 is a kind of new concept, uh, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, Web 2.0. And uh, that kind of concept uh, is useful also for healthcare in the future. So uh, old healthcare, uh, which we call uh, Health 1.0, but now uh, IT, uh, enforce the medical, and uh, so that's why uh, we call uh, has two point all. But what is new about it? I mean, computers are used for ages. Yes. Uh, so um, I'm going to introduce one of my project, which is uh, using uh, augmented reality for the medical uh, applications. So, uh, for instance, uh, let's say you get uh, medical images, box images uh, from MRI or CT scan and then we reconstruct such kind of data in a, a virtual space and then we can match uh, such kind of images on a real time, on a real movies so that we can have uh, more kind of extension of the enhanced or augmented reality. Thank you, that sounds very interesting. Thank you, sir. You mentioned uh, motion capturing. Um, how do you apply that to healthcare? Um, I'm going to express uh, about uh, uh, motion capture uh, project uh, which we use uh, motion capture for the medical applications uh, so that uh, we can visualize and then uh, uh, analyze the motions of the experts in the med uh, medical industries uh, and uh, uh, that uh, can be used for uh, training purposes or kind of robotics uh, in the medical industry so that's what I I'm going to talk about. So a robot will measure my blood pressure yeah. or Something near, like that? Near, near future. <laughs> Sounds a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was a pleasure for me having you here and thank you very much. Yeah, it's a great honor to be here. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. And gute Heimreise. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Und das war's dann schon aus dem virtuellen Studio der Fachhochschule Düsseldorf. Wie alle Beiträge zur Japan-Woche veröffentlichen wir diese im Internet unter der Adresse www.fh-düsseldorf.de-japanwochen. Vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen.